Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. Mark the Movie Man here, final cut. And yes, I had a chance once again to catch the Bordello of Horror recently, 10 p.m. Central Time, Tuesday nights on use, uh, the livestream.com slash the Vortex. Yes, Bordello of Horror. Talked about it before. Going to talk about it again. Why? Because it's a fun show. You got Freak Show Peterson and Cindy Vicious hosting the best and worst and all things in between of public domain B horror films, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, livestream.com slash vortex hilarious movies and you get to chat with the the cast of the bordello of horror because they love these movies and you get to talk to other people as well who love these types of films uh, and it's just a good time and you get to see films like the one i'm reviewing today called the killer shrews now the killer shrews is brought to us by the director of the green berets yes mr ray kellogg everybody had to start somewhere and this was one of his first films now we get the story of mr thorn sherman and his buddy rook who are bringing supplies out to an island where scientists are doing experiments well thorn gets enamored with the scientist's daughter as the scientist's experiment goes awry and they spend the rest of the film trying to get off the island while there also is a hurricane coming well it sounds a lot like i eat your skin but it's not because we don't have cannibals instead we have have dog-sized killer shrews. Yes, they're the size of dogs, and there's a good reason why. Now, first, let's talk about Thorn Sherman, played by good, good, good Roscoe Pico train himself, Mr. James Best. And Rook is played by a man named Judge Henry Dupree, who did not do much. In fact, I think this was only his first of two films, but I love that name, Judge Henry Dupree. I wish I had a cool name like that. And there's a number of other cast members, which had, this is like one of their only films, okay? This, this movie's got just bad directing, okay? Most of the film takes place in this one room house okay that's got a door in the back that everybody seems to go through and it leads to everything from the rooms upstairs to the science lab to wherever it's a magical door and you could do a drinking game too how many people come in and out of that door but i wouldn't recommend too hard of a liquor because you'd be dead before the film was over okay so and then you know you get great dialogue okay you get the the act actress ingrid good who just her part i feel sorry for because like she could it's like one minute she's holding the gun on our hero and the next minute she's hitting on him. I mean, you get great di li I Here, I prepared something for you folks. Here, you get great di lines of dialogue like this, okay? Uh, uh, here's Anne. But this ends it. If we ever get off this island, I'll never have anything to do with it again. G -g 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 whatever will you do? Somewhere like Shaggy than Roscoe. Anyway, <laughs> live normally like normal women do. It may seem a little dull after the life I've been living, but rather dull and alive than excited and... G -g 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 I'll take a dull, alive woman every time. Yes, folks, classic dialogue like that. Cheesy dialogue directing. And yes, the shrews are dogs in costume. They got these dogs and they made them up like killer shrew masks. It's poor animals, but man, it makes for some hilarious cinema. And the best part, they're making a sequel with James Best in it. Return of the Killer Shrews, folks. Yes, not only that, but they got CGI shrews this time. But guess what? They made the sh they made the CGI shrews look just like the regular shrews. So you've basically got CGI dogs with shrew masks as well. It looks that bad, and I'm hoping it's just that good as the killer shrews. Definitely worth your time. Only 70 minutes and change. It's great to see some of these actors that you've seen in other things, and it's just a good time. You know, it's better than Piranha 3 Double D because. In Piranha 3 Double D, they were intentionally being horrible, and you could tell, and they accomplished that very well. In this film, what, what adds that extra better level is the fact they weren't intending this to be a very horrible film. They were just trying to make a, a horror film, okay? And they did, but they made a B-grade cult horror film, and that's what makes it just so much better, because they did not intend it to be as bad as it was, and it makes it that much better. And that about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, folks, keep